Good morning guys, welcome to this video for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. I am the guy that sold his house and everything else he owned, took his family into a camper van, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world three years ago. At the moment we are still all in and traveling the world. I am reporting from this beautiful island here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. I'm today going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to show you the Bollinger Band. I'm going to show you the MVRV indicator. I'm going to talk about which altcoins outperformed Bitcoin this year. I'm going to talk about the debit cards that now are being frozen by 10X and by Crypto.com. Also showing you something that I think is an alien. I don't know what else to call it. Maybe you know, and if you know, comment below. And last but not least, I'm going to show you a new way of living in 3D printed smart floating houses enjoy this video guys morning guys from the beautiful island of Koh Phangan here in Thailand let's take a jump into my office guys yes on my beautiful office in front of my home again sorry not a beautiful location this time I did already two beautiful locations this week and yes maybe tomorrow I will even do the third beautiful location this week here on the Koh Phangan island and show you around why did I say the good morning a little bit louder this time because yesterday evening Lex and Jet made me go into a bar and drink so this morning i woke up with a small headache i hope they wake up with a headache as well and then the headache gets even worse because of my good morning lex good morning jet <laughs> oh, they probably don't even watch my videos start to give this video a thumbs up now and start to like the video subscribe to the channel and start this day now with just sharing this video with all your friends and family and leaving a comment that would be an amazing start of the day for you but also for me we are going to talk a little bit about the bitcoin price today guys on the back of me you can see the fishermen they are just coming back from their beautiful night of fishing sometimes when these fishermen come back and they pass by my house you know you see the most strange creatures they caught one time they caught caught a huge like not not a stingray but a huge big flat fish please uh, remind me to this name of the fish i don't know what it's called it's called a roch in the netherlands there roch try to uh, pronounce that in the netherlands roch you know the can you pronounce this because try it i want to see you i want to see you at home now trying to pronounce this dutch word roch okay so then they come out with this big, big roch but last week this woman came out with this very strange creature i didn't see this creature before um, so this this clip that I'm showing you now is from last week. I didn't see this creature before. It's a very strange thing, and they tell me they use these creatures to get the blue blood out of them. I don't know, but if you know what they do with these creatures, why these creatures are so special, then leave a comment because I would love to learn from you guys out there because there are things that you probably know way better than me. So please educate me on what kind of animal this alien-looking thing is the bitcoin price guys if we look at this chart we can see the bollinger band the bollinger band has three lines the upper line the lower line and the middle line the red line is the upper line of the bollinger band the green line is the lower line of the bollinger band and this blue line guys this is the middle line of the bollinger band this blue line is also the 260 day moving average as you can see the upper line of this bollinger band is 13,000 US dollars. The lower line of this Bollinger Band is around $6,500. This is a small spread. If you compare it with the 2017 bull rub, the top was like 20K and the bottom was way down there. Every time this Bollinger Band gets less wide, there's an opportunity of a breakout for the Bitcoin price. 260 day moving average is around 8,800 US dollars. We are now around $9,100. So we are still moving and trying to figure out which direction we will go to. As you know, at the 26th of June, um, these 1 billion worth of uh, Bitcoin options expired. It didn't influence the price as expected. As I said in my previous video, it did, of course, 
a little bit move the price a few hundred bucks but that's nothing you know that's a daily move in bitcoin this interesting thing on this bollinger chart guys is if you look down below on the chart you can see this pink line this pink line is the interesting part i think of this chart because every time this pink line crosses this area of 74 you can see it afterwards we get this bull run and then it doesn't touch this dotted line of 74 anymore now we are again on this dotted line of 74 yes i have small eyes it's the sun and it's the alcohol from yesterday sorry so this chart shows me that i can still stay bullish even if we drop a little bit to 6500 i'm still bullish but we must not cross below the level of 6500 because then man we go go to zero no no we won't go to zero and again i do think that we are in for a huge bull run because not only this pink line is touching the 74 level if we take a look at this chart this one it's the mvrv ratio huh did you, what is the mvrv ratio do you remember that we spoke in last time's video about the market cap and the realized cap there was a huge difference the, the market cap is all the bitcoins around in the wallets times the bitcoin price at the moment and the realized cap was the price of all the bitcoins around in the wallets times the price they last moved in the wallet so even as bitcoin price is now 9100 if the bitcoin were moved the last time around 8000 us dollar out of a wallet then we will calculate that bitcoins times that price and that's the realized cap now we are talking about the mvrv this one is very simple you divide the market cap by the realized cap and then you get a beautiful number and when this number is above one then most of the people that hold their bitcoins are in profit when they sell at that moment when this number is below one then most of the people are in loss when they sell at that moment the mvrv was created by murat mamurovdov something like this i don't know the name for sure mamurovdov that's the disadvantage when you walk on the beach some things you need to write down dd but the first name was Murad and the second guy that invented this one is David Puel. Maybe you remember this name from the Puel indicator I showed you also a few times on the charts. These two guys came up with this MVRV and the MVRV has shown us in the past that every time we cross this 1.0 level guys we see a bull run. Sometimes a small bull run, 400%, sometimes a big bull run, 2000% or more. If you look on the chart you can see this yellow circle around the moment that we touch this 1.0 level or cross this 1.0 level in 2012 it created this beautiful bull run how many times did i say beautiful in this video please correct me i need to learn myself to say beautiful a little bit less in the videos but in 2012 you can see that um, we crossed this 1.0 level and at that moment we saw the bull run all up to thousand dollars worth of bitcoin in 2015 again we saw this yellow circle again touching the 1.0 level and you all remember the bull run of that one because then we saw a 2000 percent bull run all the way up to 20,000 us dollars you can see the third time guys the third time was exactly in 2019 when we saw the smaller bull run all the way up to 14,000 US dollars. And now again, we are seeing that we are crossing the 1.0 level. So what will happen now? Will we see a fourth small or a bigger bull run? I think we will, because also this pink line is telling it us, also many other indicators are telling it us, and now even this MVRV indicator starts to flash. This is also again a sign that the bull run is just around the corner we are going to start yes short term some dips can come yes we can see 7k or 8k in the short term but in the long term guys this is an indicator for the long term this signal every time it started flashing in the long term we saw a bull run in the next coming months after it even if we've crashed down to 7k that is why i titled my video yesterday will we get a 25 percent discount because i don't see it as a crash i see it as a discount so if we get the opportunity to buy bitcoin 25 percent cheaper please guys trust me and start to buy these bitcoins at 7k 
because we will see a bull run because all the macro indicators are telling us and even the short-term indicators are now starting to become bullish and bullish again i know i cannot give financial advice yes i'm not a financial advisor so this is a disclaimer but if bitcoin comes around 7k it could be a very beautiful moment to change your life sell your house and go all in and just ride this beautiful roller coaster ride of the next bull run maybe we will even meet each other during this beautiful roller coaster ride somewhere on a beautiful beach like here this one in thailand and if you are more into the altcoins guys that is also fine with me because i am not a bitcoin maxi maxi maximalist yes bitcoin did change my life yes i believe bitcoin is the one and only very decentralized cryptocurrency but all the other cryptocurrencies we refer to as altcoins they can be very interesting if you look at it as an investment there are a few altcoins that already outperformed bitcoin this year if you're in this space to do an investment then always keep an eye on some altcoins because you can have a better roi on these altcoins return on investment on these altcoins than uh, bitcoin bitcoin is at the moment 34 percent higher as it, than it was at the beginning of this year ethereum for example is already 80 percent higher than the beginning of this year and some currencies i think it was agor and zero x they are even like 97 percent higher as they were in the beginning of this year but be aware it doesn't mean that every altcoin is making profit because if we look at XRP, Ripple, which I don't even refer to as a cryptocurrency, but that is why I mention it, mention it now. XRP is minus 2% if you look at the beginning of this year till now. So not every altcoin is in profit and not every altcoin is going to give you this new Lamborghini you're dreaming of. And I hope by watching my videos, you slowly will let go of this dream of the Lamborghini. By watching my videos, you understand that the goal in life should not be accumulating wealth, but the goal in life should be accumulating happiness. And it doesn't mean you need to be poor, but it does mean that you spend your money on things that make you happy for the longer term and that, that not that make you happy for the short term. A new iPhone makes you happy for a short term till the next new iPhone comes out and then you're not happy with your old one. You need a new one. Same with a Lamborghini. If you buy a Lamborghini now, you will be happy. In two weeks, there is a new Viper model. You will buy that one because that one will make you happy. If, I, if you want to be happy in the long term, you change your lifestyle, you change your mindset, you do the things every day that make you happy, that don't cost money. Like me now walking on this beach, this doesn't cost anything. I become happy of sharing my knowledge with you guys. I'm happy because my feet are touching this beautiful sand now. And doing all these kinds of small things every day that make you happy will give you a much richer life than owning a Lamborghini or owning two or six or ten houses all over the world this is my personal opinion and i just hope by creating these videos that you will understand that there are other ways of living and educating children etc some short other news guys um, do you remember when i was at the waterfall i talked to you about wirecard it's the huge debit card company that was also providing these cards to uh, crypto.com 10x wirex to all these debit card providers uh, that support bitcoin as well um, this company had this 2.1 billion problem of uh, money that disappeared. They applied for insolvency. And after this, guys, now Crypto.com and Tenex uh, needed to freeze your cards. This is terrible because now we can't use these Crypto.com and the Tenex cards. But to be very clear, all your funds are safe. Both of these companies are searching for ways to exchange the value that was on your card into crypto or into use dollar theater in your wallet in your app because you can still use your app to send bitcoins receive bitcoins resend all the other currencies that these apps support it's just the cards that are now being frozen because of the problems their card provider has they are both searching for a new card provider i think they will find one soon so we can start these amazing crypto debit cards again for the upcoming time guys yes it's also very positive because now we can't be lazy anymore and we can't use these cards so we need to become creative anyway again and we need to start using our bitcoins check out the bitcoin sites where you can buy coupons or directly spend your bitcoins in stores and shops around you because that is also the perfect way to support the whole crypto community the miners and everything else I will keep you up to date about these cards. I'm using these cards as well, so it's in my interest as well. I want to see how it evolves and when they will have new cards that we can uh, use again at all these ADMs all over the world or all the stores and pay with these Bitcoin supporting debit cards. Then there is one more thing I want to talk to you guys about. Do you see these beautiful palm trees? It's amazing. I walk here every day and every day again I feel 
myself so lucky to be walking on this beautiful beach where these palm trees cross over the beach and we have this beautiful sea. But maybe my view on this sea is going to change. Why? Because there is a really cool guy that has an idea of building floating cities onto the sea. So if you look behind me now, you see the beautiful sea, but then these beautiful 3D printed floating houses or boats, depending on what the law wants them to call them, will pop up like pew, like pew, like pew, like pew, everywhere on the sea. And these things float and you can live in them. So they are 3D printed smart floating houses. So they have like solar energy, they use the seawater, all this kind of stuff is built into these pots and you can live on them. And maybe, I don't know how it works, but maybe you can even drive them to other places in the world. You know, they don't seem very stable to me if it comes to crossing big oceans, but maybe you can like cross uh, around the beautiful island. These things could be a really cool thing. I, I, I would definitely want to try one. So if you're watching this video, I'm chilling your project, man, send me an email. I want to try one of these pods. I'm going to live there for a few weeks with my family and show the world how it is to live in one of these floating 3D houses. They will be floating under the flag of Panama. The guy that invented these first tried to build this floating city here in Thailand, the Thai government um, didn't want it, didn't allow it, so we need to move. He moved to Panama where he found a 3D printing company that wanted to work together with him and build these new kinds of cities on the sea. There is a lot of sea on this world, yes, and we have never lived there before. So if this project will succeed and these sea cities will like pop up everywhere, not like the movie Waterworld, those looked a little bit crappy. These look like a little bit high tech-ish, like floating spaceships on the sea. Um, I think a lot of people will want to live there for some time. I can already see in, in, in areas like Thailand or other touristic areas that a hotel will order like 10 of them and you and use them as 10 hotel rooms. How cool would that be? I want to know your opinion. Would you be able to live on sea? Yes, close to the land, but in these sea pots that float, with neighbors that are all floating around you. Could you imagine to live like this? I want to know your opinion if you would do it. Would you be my neighbor here in Kopangan in the sea? And how would we visit each other? Would it be with a zip line or would we need to climb down the pole and then go to each other with a boat? I don't know how it works. Or could we just throw them near each other and then this connective bridge makes a connection. And then the more bridges connect, the bigger the city or this village will become. And then maybe one pot will become a store and we buy all our grocery stuff in this pot that is a store. And one pot is a massage salon and one pot is the hairdresser. I think it's a very creative idea. I would definitely be in for living there. This guys was the video for today. I said a short video. I hope it was a short video. If you liked this video guys, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button so you'll be notified in every new video I make and even leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments guys. Let's see if we can break this 200 resistance and give this video 200 thumbs up because YouTube loves this and when YouTube loves them something, they will push my video and they will suggest my video to other people guys and that is how we get more followers and how we get more traction on our channel. So let's crash the 200 resistance by giving more than 200 thumbs ups on this video. Thank you for watching and always remember to zoom out in crypto, to zoom in in life, enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bye.